How do we say that the NAND gate is universal gate? How do we refer these two gates as universal gates? So that is what we are going to explore in this video. So without doing any delay, let's get started. Universal and gate. So first let's separate these two terms and then understand what does it mean. In our context, universal means a thing which can be used anywhere. So when we are talking about universal gate, it means a gate which can be used anywhere. For example, if you want NOT gate, you can use NAND gate to create NOT gate. If you want to use AND gate, again you can use NAND gate to create AND gate. For example, if you want to use OR gate, the same NAND gate can be used as OR gate also. So that is why this NAND gate and NOR gate can be called as a universal gate. That means you can create any gate using NAND gate and NOR gate. And that is why these gates are known as universal gates. So now using different examples of all these gates, we are going to understand that how is it possible to create all the gates using just NAND gate. So now let's explore that. So first we are starting with the NOT gate. So here we have a NOT gate and we are going to create a NOT gate using NAND gate. So first we'll see this is the truth table of NOT gate. Here we have input A and the output of this NOT gate is Y is equal to A bar. So if you give 1 in input, the output will be 0 and if you give 0 in input, the output will be 1. Now if we talk about NAND gate, this is the truth table of NAND gate and this is the equation of NAND gate. Now what is our purpose? Our purpose is to modify this gate in such a way or to use the combination of NAND gate in such a way that we get output the same as NOT gate. And in order to achieve that thing, we need to modify this equation in such a way that it gives exactly the same output as NOT gate. So here we have y is equal to a into b which is the equation, the output equation of NAND gate. So we are going to modify this equation in such a way that we will get y is equal to a bar in output. So now here what we will do, we will keep this a as it is, right? And we will remove this b and instead of this b, we will keep a as it is. So the equation becomes like this a into a bar. Now you know this thing that whenever we do a into a the output of this will be a. So here in this equation when we are doing a into a the output will be a only. So we can rewrite this equation as this a bar. So finally in place of this equation if we are removing this b and the second input is also a the output of this equation will be like this y is equal to a bar and that is what we want. So what do we supposed to do? We supposed to give only one input to both the terminals of this NAND gate. So now here we'll do that modification. We are going to short these two terminals and we are going to give it to this only a and we'll get the output as y is equal to a bar. The same thing you can understand through this truth table also. When both the input are 0, the output is 1. And when both the input are 1, the output is 0. So what it does, it simply inverts the input. So that is how you can create a NOT gate using a simple NAND gate. And this is the circuit which represents NOT gate using NAND gate. Now we'll go for the next gate and that is AND gate. So we are going to create AND gate using NAND gate. So here we have our AND gate. This is the truth table of AND gate. These are the two inputs of AND gate and here we get the output as y is equal to a into b. So this is the equation of AND gate. Now what do we want? We want to create this AND gate using NAND gate. The equation of NAND gate is y is equal to a into b bar. So what is our aim? We are going to use this NAND gate to create the same output as AND gate. But the output equation of this NAND gate is y is equal to a into b bar. But what do we want? We want y is equal to a into b. So here we want to modify this equation in order to get this equation. So it looks very simple. If we just remove this bar, we'll get y is equal to a into b. Now the question is how to remove this bar. So for that you should understand this. A very common phenomenon that a is equal to a double bar. How is it possible? Here we have one NOT gate, 
another NOT gate. So the input is A, the output is this NOT gate is A bar and the output is A double bar. If you give 0 in here, the output of this NOT gate is 1 and the output of this NOT gate is 0. So you can see that A is directly equal to A double bar. So what we are going to do here, we are going to modify this equation using this double bar logic. So what we'll do y is equal to a dot b bar, we are going to put one more bar. So this one more bar is going to be equal to y is equal to a into b. And how we can place this bar? This bar represents not gate, right? The bar represents not gate. And we have just understood that how to create not gate using NAND gate. So in first step what we are going to have, we are going to have A into B whole bar. So here we have the truth table and the two inputs A and B. So the output of this NAND gate would be A into B whole bar. So that is what we have achieved. Now what do we want in this second step? We want to make another bar and that we can create through NOT gate. So in order to have the NOT gate, we want another NAND gate and we are going to short the terminal and the output of this NAND gate is given to the both input to this NAND gate and the final output will get as A into B. And that's how we can create AND gate using NAND gate. In order to verify that the circuit is correct or not, what we'll do, we'll randomly take any two inputs. Let's say A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0 and the output of the AND gate should be 0. So it is 1, it is 0 and the output should be 0. So let's check what is the output of our this logic circuit. So here A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0. So A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0. So what is the output of this NAND gate? The output is 1. So here our output is 1. So both the input to this NAND gate is 1. When both the input to the NAND gate is 1, what is the output of that NAND gate? That is 0. So the same thing that we are getting over here. So using this we can say that we have created a circuit of AND gate using NAND gate. I recommend that remaining three logics you verify it by yourself and check it whether it is appropriate or not. If it is proper then write in comments below that we have checked and we have found everything proper. So that's how you can create AND gate using NAND gate and this is the circuit for that. Now we are going for the third gate and that is OR gate. So here we have this OR gate and this is the truth table of our OR gate. Here we have two inputs of the OR gate and the output of OR gate is looks like this. Y is equal to A plus B. So OR gate is nothing but the addition of two inputs. And now if we talk about the output equation of NAND gate then that is Y is equal to A into B whole bar. So here our aim is to modify this equation in such a way that we can have Y is equal to A plus B in our output. So for that, here we have multiplication, here we have addition. So what do we supposed to do? We supposed to use the De Morgan's theorem. What it say? If A into B whole bar is there, then you can rewrite this as A bar plus B bar. So both the output will remain same. So now if we modify this equation in this manner, then this looks a little bit similar to what do we want. Now here something is there which we do not want and that is this bar. So instead of this bar, what if we can have A double bar and B double bar. If we have this A double bar and B double bar, we can rewrite this equation as A plus B and that is what we want. In output of NAND gate, we have only one terminal that is A into B bar. So in output if we do anything we cannot make A bars bar and B bars bar. So we supposed to do something in input. What if instead of B we give B bar as input to this NAND gate. If we give B bar over here and A bar over here we will have A bar into B bars whole bar in our output. And if we modify this we can write it as a double bar plus b double bar and if we have this y is equal to a plus b and that is what we want. So now let's implement this logical operation into the combination of NAND gate. So here we have truth table of NAND gate. So we'll use this NAND gate as NOT gate. Both the terminals are shorted and that will become our A input. So the output of this NAND gate will become A bar. 
here we have b and the output of this nand gate will become b bar so now here we have a bar and we have b bar what do we want we want a bar into b bars whole bar and for that we'll use another nand gate we'll connect this with a bar and this with b bar so the output of this will get as a double bar plus b double bar and which is equal to y is equal to a plus b now let's verify this with one of the logic if a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 so what is the output of or gate if a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 it is 1 so here a is equal to 0 so a bar will be 1 b is equal to 1 so b bar will be 0 and the input is 1 and 0 so what if the output of nand gate when one of the input is 1 and the another one is 0 the output is 1 so here we'll get 1 which is the same as or gate and that is why we can say that this logical combination will represent the equivalent circuit of or gate so we can say that or gate is created using nand gate so now here we have created not gate using nand gate and gate using nand gate and or gate using nand gate all these three basic gates we have created using the nand gate and that is why we can say that this nand gate is a universal gate now it's time to create xor gate and xnor gate using nand gates and in order to do that you must watch this video here we are going to convert xor gate and xnor gate using nand gate so see you in that video